Okay, class. We have dimensioning packet page one, and on the flip side, dimensioning packet page two. A total of four drawings that are going to be a summative grade. All four of these items need to be dimensioned correctly and neatly. Your grade is going to be half dependent on it being correctly dimensioned and the other half being neatly dimensioned. The scale is one to one, and you will notice that each one of these squares is one inch, and each one of the little squares is a quarter of an inch. Each object shows the number of the object, and in the brackets is how many total dimensions will be needed to dimension this correctly. This one being four, and this one being five. All the objects need to be dimensioned using the datum type of dimensioning. Meaning you're going to have to pick an edge that you dimension the whole thing off of. I am going to step you through number one and you can follow along with me. And if you do it just like I do, then you'll have a perfect grade on the first drawing. So let's get started with this first object. I am picking this edge as my datum and this bottom edge as my datum. And I'm going to start across the top. I'm going to put my straight edge down. I'm going to align it with this edge. Don't go right to the edge of the object but just a little above. And I'm going to be just shy of an inch using my extension line this whole way. On the second edge, I'm going to do the same thing, except only go up about halfway. And on the third edge, I'm going to go starting from level with that line all the way down to the edge, again, leaving a gap on each one. I am going to do... my dimension line with arrowheads and then if you look this is one inch and a half so one point five the next one I'm going to do is the overall length. Now you notice I stagger them and the overall length should always go on top so that we do not cross a dimension line with an extension line. If these two had been reversed you would have. Now if you look at this, this is one inch, two inch, and a half. So this one is 2.5. Okay, a couple things to note. Here. One, that the dimension text is in the middle horizontally and vertically. The dimension text is horizontally and vertically. I'm using a datum style, and you should go with the smallest to the biggest on datum style. You should not cross dimension line with extension line. However, you can cross two extension lines, which is going to have to happen anyway. So now I'm going to choose this bottom edge datum, and again, I am going to make this not touching the object, but make this come out a little bit of ways, and this edge come out about halfway and this edge and you notice the extension lines are going to cross but they do not cross a dimension line and I come out level with this one I'm going to use my ruler now and do the first dimension line leaving a gap in the middle put my arrowheads on 
count however many inches, one, two, and a half, 2.5, and then out here, I'm going to do my overall height of this object. Count up the inches, one, two, three, four total inches. Again, the dimension text will be in the middle of the dimension line, both vertically and horizontally. Middle, vertically, and horizontally. This is correctly dimensioned, and you can tell this number four counts for one, two, three, four dimensions. If your object looks just like this, you get an A.